So as you all know, Carl at Divi Math is super busy working on new products like the new goggle and doesn't have a lot of time to show these new products that are coming out like the new HD0 VRX. So it gave me a CAD model of what's coming and I'm going to walk you through it and show you all the features. So here's the new HD0 VRX that many have been waiting for. The main difference on this model versus the Shark by VRX is that there are now four SMA jacks instead of just the two on the top. And the patches are no longer built into the VRX. Instead, you will include your own or run Omnis. And then you can mount patch antennas to something like this, like a clip that goes onto the rail. And uh, later on, I'll show an example of mounting an antenna to this. The HD0 VRX mounts the same way to your goggle as the SharkBite VRX did with a mount on the top and it comes with a similar uh, fanguard mounting adapter as did the SharkBite VRX kit. There's a real-time clock embedded in the uh, DVR board. You can see it here and the purpose of that is to record the uh, time and date into the DVR recordings, which will make it easier for you to go back and review recordings with proper time and date. So I'm pretty excited for that addition. The other thing I'm equally excited for is the included microphone. So if we go to this side of the board, uh, there's now an uh, ambient microphone that will pick up uh, the sound of your drone going by or yourself making commentary, uh, which will make it easier to get some context uh, into what is going on in that recording. One thing, unfortunately, they had to change for this version of the VRX versus the prior one is a due to the chip shortage, a, a higher power draw FPGA processor had to be put in. Uh, it's now going to draw 11 watts versus 7 watts on the uh, SharkBite VRX, and there's now a higher power, higher power, higher flow fan blowing air onto that. Um, the case has also gotten just a little bit thicker, about two millimeters thicker from this point to this point, due to that uh, higher power fan. There's also more space behind the uh, board here for. Uh, the real-time clock battery, and potentially to mount other things inside. So the width and height um, are the same, roughly speaking, as the prior VRX. It's just the thickness is uh, about 2 millimeters thicker, 29.5 uh, millimeters versus 27.5. The last really cool addition to this VRX is the Express LRS backpack connector, which is this port here. So this is going to allow you to plug in an Express LRS receiver to the HD0 VRX, which will control the channel that the VRX goes to automatically so that your VRX will follow the channel that your radio control is set to and your quad will also follow the channel that your radio is set to. So you change it in one spot and the quad and the, and the VRX will both go to the correct channel. You can also map things like uh, recording and uh, stopping recording on a switch on your radio which will control the VRX st starting and stopping recording. So some pretty cool stuff. All in all a, a minor update to the VRX uh, but a very necessary one. Now I mentioned earlier that I would show uh, mounting an antenna to this, so let me show that now. So here's an example of mounting some rather large X-Air antennas onto these slots, and then uh, these antennas would then have a uh, coax cable going to a 90 degree SMA connector. 
And of course you can mount other things to this. It doesn't have to be the style of antenna. It could be your own homemade helical antennas. Um, the sky's the limit. Uh, also, you could, you could mount the Express LRS uh, backpack to this mounting system. The profile uh, for mounting onto this, this rail will be provided so that anyone can make their own. And we'll put something up on Thingiverse 2 to make it easier. So I'm glad that I could uh, show this to you guys. I know that a lot of people are waiting for it. And it's really important that uh, more people are able to get their hands on HD0 and experience all of the benefits of going to digital. Thanks. Bye.